Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone who still rule well. And Barakatham to you, brothers, as I had teaching this truth with faith and sincerity. And yeah, man, I'm going to go into a lesson on slavery, man. And. The fact that you could just Google this word on Google and uh and the images that pop up, they're all they're all children of Israel, man. Whether you're a so called black, a so called Indian, or a so called Latino, man. You're all the children of Israel, man. And that's all you see. Okay. Which I want to do a lesson on this. I want to go ahead. And go right into the scriptures. Revelation chapter 3. It's like your Revelation. Chapter 13. Okay. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. And I already tried to uh, upload this video, but YouTube took it down because they didn't like the, the, uh, the language. Cause they, they they simply don't like the truth, man. And uh we gonna stick we just gonna call them Edomites, their their rightful name, man. They are the red Hebrew Edomites, man. And they can't run from that name. Cause that's them, man. They cannot run from that name. And we all know who put the children of Israel in slavery, man. Who, who who put the children of Israel on boats from West Africa to come all the way over here to America, man? To North America, South America, and the transatlantic slave trade, man. We all know who that was, man. We all know who that was selling selling the Israelites, splitting them up from their families. We all know who that was, man. That was the red Hebrew Edomites, man. Okay? And this scripture details how when Yahweh Shai comes back, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, that when Yahweh Shai comes back, you red Hebrew Edomites are going into slavery, man. And that's after America gets wiped off the map by nuclear missiles, man. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get Jeremiah chapter 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. All thine adversaries. If you go into that, that word adversary, it means enemy. And Esau is an enemy to Jacob, man. To the Israelites, man. Esau is our enemy. And every one of them shall go into captivity. All of their ass going into captivity. All of their ass going into slavery. Not just the Edomites, but two other races too. Okay? But but Esau mainly Esau's gonna get it the worst, man. He gonna get it for a thousand years, then he gonna be burned up off the face of the earth, man. Every one of their ass going into captivity, from from the old ones to the damn babies. We putting chains on the hands and feet of they fucking toddlers, man. 
and that's just the truth. And I hope this video don't get don't get taken down because this is the truth, man. And I also want to go ahead and get how you ignorant you ignorant people out here call Yahweh Shai Jesus, man. That's not his fucking name, man. Salakia, that's not his name. I want to go again, Luke. Luke chapter 12, verse 51, okay? And these are the words of Yahweh Shai, okay? Suppose ye that I am come to send to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Because Yahweh Shai is coming to put things back in order, okay? Here in this place, America is known as the great melting pot is because you could find essentially every race on earth right here in this country, man. Right here in Babylon the Great, which is the most wickedest empire ever erected on earth, man. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming to put all you races back in your places, man. And I also want to go get Matthew. Chapter 10. Verse 34. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking again. Okay. Think not. That I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Okay. Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai comes back. He's not coming back to say. He's only coming back to save the hopefully elect. Okay. And in the Bible, it speaks how even the elect will be saved scarcely, man. Even two thirds of the Israelites have to die. So how can another race expect to make it out this out this nuclear holocaust if two thirds of the Israelites? Even have to die If two thirds of Yahweh Shai's people Have to die How can any other How can any other race be saved Man That's what uh, That Christianity Shit will like you to believe That some guy named Jesus Is just gonna come come down out of the sky And, and, and if you believe He's saving you Like that's, that's, that's blasphemy man Yahweh Shai is only coming back for the 144,000 elect. Okay? He is coming to send a sword on earth, man. He's coming to destroy America, Babylon the Great. Okay? And that's pretty much all I want to go into on this lesson. Just a little quick lesson. Okay?